Hello, hello, my lovelies. Hi, it's Emmy. Welcome back. Today I'll be doing a little food related DIY. Perfect little gift for the holidays. This. <laughs> and this. <laughs> and these are little washcloths in the form of onigiri and sushi. If you follow me on Instagram, you might have seen an image of one of these things out of comments, and I thought, hey, I could probably do this myself. The original version I saw were made out of washcloths, but as I've discovered, you can also make them with baby socks. Super cute shower gift, right? All right, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, to begin, we're gonna take a standard washcloth and we're going to cut it into quarters. And to keep things from fraying, we're just gonna go around the perimeter with our sewing machine. So first I'm going to show you how to make an onigiri. So we're going to roll up our washcloth and then roll it up like a snail. And then we're going to hold everything in place with a straight pin. I'm using a contrasting color so you can see it, but you of course would use something with a white head. And then you're just going to take your fingers and pinch it into a nice little triangular shape. Now to make the little nori piece, we're gonna take a piece of felt and cut a strip about an inch wide. Just wrap it around your onigiri and then cut it to length. Then fasten it again with a straight pin. So in a clean sushi container, we're gonna place four onigiri. And then we're gonna use this little plastic fake grass in between our little rice balls. Put the lid on. And there you go, adorable onigiri washcloths. So the sushi version is similar. We're gonna start by making the little rice ball by folding up our washcloth and then folding it into thirds. And then we're gonna hold everything together with a straight pin. To make the baby sock version, we're gonna take a pair of socks and then we're gonna place them on top of each other facing opposite way. Roll them up and then fold the top cuff over everything. kind of just shape it into a nice little sushi rice ball. Next we're going to take little pieces of felt, cut out into sushi colors, and attach them to the washcloths with pins. To make the tamago sushi, we're going to place a yellow rectangle of felt on top, and then we're going to wrap this with a thin strip of black felt to represent the seaweed. Then place the finished sushi into a clean container, Separate with a little piece of grass, put the lid on, and there you go. So here are the onigiri, there are four of them inside. Super, super cute and adorable. Love how they turned out. And here's the sushi version. Sushi is super cute as well. I made these with washcloths, but like I said, you can also use, also use little baby socks to make the rice balls, right? Super cute and easy and really inexpensive. All right, happy holidays to you guys. If you guys end up making this project, please share your images with me on social media. I wanna see them and I want to share them. All right, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoy that one. I hope you guys learned something. Share this video with your friends, follow me on social media, show this video a little bit of love, and I shall see you in my next video. Toodaloo, take care, bye, happy holidays.